There's this creepy light over there in the distance. I swore it was moving before, but I think I'm just tripping. So anyways, this is where I decided to park. I need my garlic dill cheese curds. I've been looking for cheese curds for, I don't know, probably a couple years now. I never find them. I found them at Cahalco Summit. So, anyways, I said I'd show you <laughs> this piece of paint that flew off. I was saying it's the size of like an oven mitt. So, it's cool because the primer that's on this car ends up, when it first gets exposed, it's, uh, it's green. So, as you can see when I peel some of this off, but I, I sat on the car the other night when I stopped at my buddy's to visit. And uh, I smashed the hood in a little bit, which is actually okay. It's a little dented anyways. So, but, um, but yeah, um, these are cool because these are actually air intakes. And uh, they're really cool hand warmers. I probably cook hot dogs in there when the engine's running. And uh, I decided to find a cool place to chill and park and I got to test out the tires and this stuff is fluffy up here really soft and uh, I almost got stuck a couple times but it did good I can lower these tires down to probably about 20 pounds and they'll really do good on top of the sand they don't have a ton of tread but they they put down a big footprint as you can see here I've got the biggest set of tires that's been up here it looks like there's been some work trucks and stuff up here but it's a trip this license plate which is black in the daylight when it has light shining on it it turns this eerie green and then uh, I painted it with some uh, um, uh, desert tan just to kind of you know dirty it up because it looked too shiny and black but it looks trippy as hell and dark with a light on it. It actually turns green. So, but, uh, yeah, she's doing good on her trip. I was going fast enough, it keeps blowing back the, uh, um, fireplace screens. But nothing else. And I gotta seal up some of these holes because that's why I have to have the windows open half the time when I'm driving because the exhaust comes in because it doesn't have exhaust that comes out. Um, at the back like it's supposed to yeah that's creepy looking um, I'm going to end up having some reverse mounted headers they're going to call them zoomies there's going to be four pipes coming up on the sides and uh, kind of like you know Mad Max but there's where the exhaust I don't know if you can see it I don't think you can so the exhaust doesn't come out anywhere back here where it used to. Um, there's the mounts for it. But um, all the exhaust is actually coming out just under uh, the back seat. So right there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna cut that back a little further. I still wanna keep the H pipe, which is, remember where the H pipe is so it's right there so I want to keep the H pipe but right after the H pipe I'm gonna come out here with four different pipes and I'll either not use the back doors anymore or I'll find a way to have maybe a flex pipe go to them unless I want to run the exhaust up here which actually would the longer the exhaust when you're running no mufflers the better it sounds so I never even thought of that. That'd be kind of cool to have the exhaust come out and up the sides. So we'll see. But uh, just uh, oh, look at the got my little looks like a windshield wiper from the strap that holds the the jack down. Um, so yeah, just I'd take a little video and a couple pictures up here um, parked next to a big tower 
you can't see but so anyways <clears throat> I'm losing my voice the air is so uh, crisp out here so all right thanks for watching